What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another one, and thank you for joining me as always. Behind me is my Pure Stage 2 2011 335i. That's the E90, so it's the uh, sedan for anybody that doesn't know. I've had this car for about four years now, driven it over 40,000 miles, so I think I have a pretty good understanding of uh, what it takes to daily drive this car for years on end in, in every season. And uh, today I just want to give you guys my opinion on why I think this is just the absolute best daily driver. Let's go find a really cool spot to park up and talk a little bit more about it, and I'll catch you guys there. Yeah, so I'm just headed to a local town uh, by me uh, called Port Deposit. Really, really pretty town right by the water where we can park up and uh, talk a little bit more about why I think this is the perfect daily driver. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about my car before we get into uh, why I think it makes the perfect daily driver. This car has a stage two turbo. It's JB4 tuned and it has almost full bolt-ons. I've done the intake side, but I haven't really done anything to the exhaust side still has a uh, stock downpipe, has all the cats in place. I bought this car at 160,000 miles and it now is at 201,000. So this car is over 200,000 miles and I am over doubling the boost, over doubling stock boost <laughs> on you know stock internals. And this car is just an absolute champ. It's pushing about 400 horsepower to the wheels. Um, and even with that amount of power, I still get easily 23, 24 average MPGs, which is awesome. You know, especially compared to the M3 of this generation with the V8. Yeah, so while I'm headed over there, why don't I just throw you guys over into a little time lapse? People like time lapses, right? East Coast can be beautiful too. Yeah, so today I just wanted to talk to you guys about why I think the 335i E9X makes the absolute best daily driver for the money. And specifically the N55 here, uh, because while I know a lot of people prefer the N54 more for big power, I think when it comes to daily driving, the N55 takes the cake hands down um, as far as reliability and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, just, just the reason why I think that this makes the best daily driver is the overall package that you get when buying this car. Um, one, it's very affordable. Cost of entry is very affordable. Um, these cars can be had a clean example, clean title, low mileage, all the check boxes can be had for under 15 grand. This car right here, granted, it had 160,000 miles on it um, and it was fully stock when I bought it. Um, except for the pure stage two turbo that the previous owner had already installed. Woo! Got lucky on that one. <laughs> but um, I bought this car for well under $10,000. And like I said, granted, it had 160,000 miles on it and it needed some work. Um, but, you know, these cars are an absolute steal. And if you know anything about doing work on cars yourself, you can do all the maintenance yourself and save thousands of dollars and build a car like what you see here for literally $10,000, all said and done. Um, and, and I don't think you can find that anywhere else on the market right now. So yeah, diving, in, diving into those a uh, little bit more, I think, let's start with the exterior. And I know this is fully subjective, 
Um, but I just think the exterior of these cars is one of the best looking cars across the board I have ever seen. And obviously that's biased because I own one. So of course I'm gonna love it. Um, but even when it was stock, I enjoyed looking at it. Um, I've had this car for about four years and driven it for over 40,000 miles. Um, and still, every single time I park it, I have to look back at it. <laughs> but yeah, so the exterior, I think, is just ageless completely. And I really, really do think that as far as BMWs go, the E9X chassis is one of the best looking you're gonna find. Moving on into the interior, uh, it's a BMW, so it's gonna be a luxury interior. Uh, I have heated leather seats, bugs flying everywhere. <laughs> um, an amazing sound system. I don't even have the M Sport package, so I have the base sound system, not Harman Kardon, and it still sounds amazing. Um, uh, and you get all the BMW amenities that come standard with these cars, like dual climate control, um, the, the cruise control is actually really intuitive. There's just a lot of really nice features with these cars that you will come to love over the years of owning it. Um, and, the, and the third most important thing that I want to talk to you about, uh, which is why this car is so awesome to be a daily driver and for the, for the, for the money, best bang for your buck. And that's the power plant. Um, this car stock comes with a twin scroll turbocharged straight six, making uh, about 300 horsepower, 300 torque, um, and this thing stock, stock, this car boogies, uh, and you will have tons of fun, but of course, you know, that doesn't last too long, and the, and the, the itch comes, and you, you start adding more power. <laughs> the last thing I need to be sure that I talk about regarding these cars is maintenance. This car was, has not been error-free by any means in the, in the four years that I've owned it. Um, mechanically, it's been really sound. And like I said, I'm sure I've said this a million times, the car is at 200,000 miles. And as a part of my little 200,000 mile refresh, I had the Vano solenoids cleaned, I had it walnut blasted, replaced the spark plugs, and uh, replaced the high pressure fuel pump. And I kid you not, the car it drives better now than it has in the four years that I've owned it, uh, doing those four things. So uh, that's one thing, if you're looking to squeeze a little bit more uh, life out of your high mileage 335i, definitely do those four things. Uh, I think your car will thank you for it, for sure. Um, but no, uh, the biggest issue that I've had with this car has been electrical problems. And I know you've probably heard that before. A lot of people will say these cars are over-engineered and they come with electrical problems. Um, for me personally, the issue was related to the way that the previous owner had uninstalled the JB4 tuner that he had on the car. Um, and that started causing me issues that was just impossible to diagnose. Um, but I don't really think that that is a, a con for these cars as a whole. That was more of a specific problem to me. Uh, maybe some advice if you're looking for one. Um, find one that's stock, that, doesn't, that isn't tuned, maybe one that's not already JB4 tuned, so that you can be sure you do all that stuff yourself and you do it right, you know? Um, I think it'll save you a lot of headache. But yeah, just full disclosure, this car has had some electrical problems that I had to work through that were a huge pain in the butt. Um, but mechanically, this car has been incredibly sound and has never left me stranded. I, uh, I just took a four hour trip to Deep Creek in this car and uh, it didn't skip a beat. It's been great and I drive it every single day. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope that uh, this little video helped somebody who's thinking about getting into one of these cars and is just concerned, they have some worries. I hope I helped alleviate some of those worries, and just, I really want you to know that if you're on the fence about buying one of these cars, absolutely do it. You're not going to regret it. Um, just the smiles per gallon factor is just enormous, um, and I think for the money, you're not going to find a car with as complete of an overall package as this car uh, in today's economy. So, you know, if you want to save yourself a little bit of money, definitely YouTube is your friend. Look up all the DIYs you can and uh, just figure out how to do as much work on this car by yourself as you can. You will save thousands, I promise you. Um, so anyway, the theme of today's video is if you're thinking about buying one of these cars, do it. <laughs> so, okay guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.